I wake up and start my day by checking in on the web publishers I work with and see if they have any updates or feedback for the games I am working on. I bring these games to their platform and earn ad revenue in exchange. They give me feedback based on gameplay, mechanics, look, feel, and whether the game would be suitable on their platform or not. Most of the revenue comes from giving out game licenses, which means a small buyout from the platform for my game, and I also earn from ad revenue. As you can see, on game distribution, I still earn 3 to 4 euros per day. I have not uploaded any games here since the last 3 months. Next, I check up on my YouTube analytics to see how the videos are performing. And currently they are not performing good. I am running this channel to share my game development experiences and want to grow in a personal indie blog space. I am halfway through to monetizing the channel and hopefully before this year ends, I will be a part of the YouTube Partner Program. After this, I scroll LinkedIn for a bit to check up on the game industry news, but most of the times nothing is interesting. Most of it is vague, general advice. There are a few creators who post good content. I currently have 11,000 plus followers here. Then I scroll Twitter for a bit. Over here, I find Elon Musk ranting about the elections currently. But on Twitter, I also find good writers and I save their tweets for later. I appreciate good writing and sometimes I use it as an inspiration to post content on LinkedIn. For example, this meme. I like posting memes as they help me connect to the audience while maintaining the context, in this case, games. I like LinkedIn. It helps me connect with publishers and partners and gives me opportunities as a creator. For example, I am soon speaking about web games at a game conference event. Once I am done with the social media activity, I head to some web game platforms to search for interesting ideas. I go to their page and look for games that interest me. This is one of the ways I generate new ideas. You can look for rating score and the number of ratings, which gives you a good idea of how the game is performing. Once I have found a good game idea, I go to my best friend ChatGPT to help me develop it. For example, I like this game by Voodoo, which is about shooting an arrow across balloons and break it down in the chat. I tell how the mechanic would work, how the game is completed and more information. The important point here is to have great programming knowledge and guide ChatGPT with a positive or negative feedback and telling it why it is good or bad. This is how AI chatbots improve themselves. And in return, my best friend will write all the code for me and tell me how to implement it all in Unity. Slick, right? In my next video, I will dive deeper into coding projects and games that I am working on. So if you liked this short vlog about how I make games, subscribe and stay tuned for the future vlogs.